empty stomach. Like intermittent fasting <laughs> is intermittent and keto. These two words are how do how do I say it? these two words are the new words that uh, I've been hearing for the past couple of years. You know, what's your take on? Again, pick anyone you want. I don't think anyone wants to hear my take on it. <laughs> Go uh, for it. <laughs> I'm I'm definitely not a fan of keto. It's not something I believe. I don't believe denying your body of a macronutrient that it needs is a smart thing to do. So, if you're going to tell me I'm not allowed to eat carbs and I'm only going to eat protein and fat, I don't believe it. I don't buy it, mm-hmm. and uh, I don't think it's it's something you can do. Okay. The way I look at fitness, it's got to be something you can do long term. Yeah. Can you deprive your body of carbs for the rest of your life? You can't. So then, why try doing it? Um, I get it. It works for athletes in certain aspects. It works for for people who suffer from diseases for certain aspects. Yes, I get that. That's fine. But why would a normal human being do that to themselves? So it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, intermittent fasting, I have no issues with. I think it's fine if you want to do it. Great, you know what? But do it for the right reasons. If you're if you're fasting because you want to lose weight, you can have you have better ways of doing it, right? Uh, fasting was done initially, mm-hmm. and it's it's been a part of Indian culture for really long. It was done so that you give your body enough time to recover, and you give your body enough time to do things other than just constantly digesting food. Yeah, right. So your body is your best medicine. It's your best doctor. It will do the work if you let it do the work. If you're constantly just giving your body food to digest, then it's not going to be able to do the work. So I have no problem with fasting, but it doesn't work for everybody. And hmm. that's the one thing people need to understand. It's not, oh, my aunt is doing it, so let me do it. Or my best friend's doing it and work, and he's dropped some X amount of kilos, so let me do it. That's not why you do it. It's got to work for you, and yeah. and everybody is different. So you've got to figure out whether it works for you. If it works for you, great. I fast. I did intermittent fasting for years when I was a lawyer, right? Because I used to work till four in the morning. Now, it worked really well for me because it took away the stress of where's my next meal? What am I planning next? Where am I going to eat next? You know, when you grow up, and when I was growing up, it's like oh, I have seven meals a day, and I have six meals a day, and I have eight meals. Now I eat when I'm hungry. I let my body tell me when I want to eat food, yeah. right? I, I have my basic meal, so I'll have my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner. And then I'll just listen to my body. If it's hungry, it'll tell me I want to eat food, I will eat food. Yeah. But there's a difference between listening to your body and being an emotional eater. I can put, people can put cookies in front of me. If I'm not hungry, I won't touch them. It doesn't tempt me at all. Uh, but you put that in front of an, for any other average person going to work and they will finish that entire plate before your meeting's done. Right. Yeah. So that is something that unfortunately happens, and and I'm I have no issues with fasting whatsoever. I have issues with keto. Yeah. But I have no issues with fasting. Uh, whatsoever. I figured that out. All the keto guys are gonna definitely go ahead and uh, write down a comment. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Intermittent fasting didn't work out for me at uh, a certain point in my life. It yeah. just didn't. I yeah. was super drowsy. I just couldn't function, and yeah. I realized that this is not the right thing for me. And I just went ahead and uh, again, weight was ne- weight still is never an issue for me. Yeah. So. I'm happy where I'm at, and I'm gonna stick with what yeah. I'm doing. And it made me super duper drowsy. Yeah, and it just didn't happen for me, and I was not sleeping right. So, yeah. I, again, I give myself thirty days. I try something new. I'm gonna give it a shot for thirty days, and I'm gonna see if it's working out for me or not. Man, it's worked out for me so far with anything that I've done in my life. Yeah. You know, not just with working out as well, with anything new that you're trying out. Yeah. Give it a shot for thirty days, and then if it works out. Well and good if you see changes. If you, if you, if you, if you see the uh, decline, yeah. then either your body is not working towards it or either whatever you're doing is yeah. not working out for you. And yeah. then you just try to see what else you can go ahead no, and do. Agree. Uh, a fair enough number for me personally is 30 days. Somebody, some people have 15, some people have maybe 45, some maybe have 90. Like P90X at one point. <laughs> there have been a lot. I, I, I mean, I can't afford to say anything. I have a 40-day program, so yeah. I, I think 40 days is a good amount of time to make change. Yeah. But I, it's just a number. Yeah, It's a number. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. I think we know our bodies better than anyone does, uh, better than any nutritionist, better than any coach, better than any trainer. And uh, we know what our body needs if we really listen to it, and it will tell us. Yeah. So if you're willing to listen, You'll find your answers. If you love what we are doing, make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you very much for watching us on YouTube.
make sure that you also listen to us on Spotify. This program is brought to you by Via Studios.